Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Reviews. So today I am reviewing a fragrance that you guys have asked numerous numerous times for me to review and that is Aphrodisiac Elixir by Shakira. So this one is probably out of all the boxes the most extravagant box. So straight on the front you've got these two peacocks kind of looking back at each other. You've got this signature raindrop in the middle that's kind of on all the Elixir bottles and then that kind of continues on to the side and it's got the same kind of aspect design to them and like I said all of the elixir bottles and boxes are completely beautifully done I love the boxes for the elixir line and this one's just so many fun colors and so much fun the bottle for this one looks like this and it is this pink kind of color with the gold top and then it's got that we're back with that clear uh, resin uh, top with the Shakira logo on it, which my camera does not want to pick up. So, this one is the one that, after I saw the notes for it, definitely wanted me to get it um, the most. Bef like, Wild Elixir kind of brought me into the Elixir line and looking at them and wanting to get them, but this was definitely the one that I wanted to get just based off its notes. So, speaking of which, the notes for this one are bergamot, grapefruit, apple, raspberry, and rhubarb in the top. Middle notes are jasmine, sandback, tuberose, and rose, with the base notes of sandalwood, vanilla, praline, and musk. So, this one I, is definitely my favorite out of all the uh, elixirs. It's kind of got this weird vibe to it that I just love. So, straight off the bat, um, I can definitely smell that grapefruit and the bergamot giving it the citrus kind of open. This very just fresh citrus kind of open. The red apple kind of gives it this crisp aspect to the beginning of the fragrance. And then you've got the raspberry and the rhubarb, which I don't really smell the rhubarb too much. It kind of adds the tart to the fragrance, but the raspberry kind of gives it that little bit of a berry edge. But it's not overly fruity. Like, it's kind of like this really just light, airy fruitness to the top of the fragrance. But I feel like the heart notes of, like, the jasmine sandback, and the tuberose and the rose kind of give it this white floral middle that kind of are there throughout the whole entire fragrance. So I feel like the fruits that are in the top are almost like the flowers of the fruits, if that makes any sense. Because it's not overly fruity. It's just kind of like this floral fruity scent. Like, I know a lot of times you hear fruity florals, but I feel like this one's kind of reversed and it's more of a floral fruity scent. Just because it's not overly floral, but it's not overly fruity at the same time. Um, as it starts to dry down, though, you get the sandalwood and the vanilla, giving it this kind of creamy vanilla-ness to the fragrance. The praline um, gives it this kind of gourmadness to it, but it doesn't make it overly gourmad, overly sticky sweet, overly foody. It just kind of balances out that base and kind of gives it this kind of sensual warmth end to the end of it. And then you got that musk, which I feel like just kind of adds to the airiness of the fragrance. But I will say with this one being called Aphrodisiac Elixir, it's supposed to be more sensual and more sexual and so on and so forth. And I feel like this one really does a great job because of all the elixirs, this is the most closest skin to me. Like, I get the, like, the closest out of all these. And I believe, if I remember right... I thought this one was the only one that was an Eau de Toilette, but they're all Eau de Toilettes. But anyway, so this one is the most of the Eau de Toilettes. I only get about three to four hours of usage out of this one, but this is one that I like the fragrance so much that I don't mind um, reapplying it because I do like how the top fades into the, whole, the florals and the florals fade into that base. It's definitely a weird kind of fragrance, and it's definitely something kind of hard to describe. Um, this is definitely something, if you are looking to blind buy it, I would blind buy it, because I feel like it could arrange to so many different people, it's not even funny. But this one is just a different kind of fragrance. It's very fruity floral, floral fruity, whatever way you want to word those two, but it's just something different, and it's so hard to describe what I mean by it. But it's, I think part of it's just some of the odd notes, like the rhubarb being mixed with some weird other things that you wouldn't think would be mixed in a normal fragrance. So, 
but I definitely do like it. It is my favorite out of all of the elixirs, but the elixirs for me are just so weird that I don't wear them unless I'm doing something special, and that's just me. Um, they're not weird in a bad way. I love all of them in their own ways. It's just I don't wear them as much because I feel like they need special occasions to wear them. So, that is my review of Aphrodisiac Elixir by Shakira. As always, guys, thanks so, so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, A the S Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. Links are in the description below. And as always, guys, if you guys have any requests for future videos, go ahead and comment down below, and I will do my best to refilm them. Thank you. Bye.